Hey, good afternoon, Ray. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you so much for your time the other day. This is gonna be one of the two videos that I promised you. This is the Grand Design Solitude Rear Kitchen. Uh, the smaller one, the 280, I think it's called. Um, I love this floor plan. In fact, this video is kind of for myself as well. I'm debating about this in a little well-made shorter travel trailer, but this is so nice. It's only 32.7 long, so you're only gonna be about, what, 28 feet behind your truck? And when you see the interior of that, it's going to, of this, it's gonna be hard to believe. You have, I believe, 375 watts of solar on here. This one isn't labeled, but that's a bigger solar panel, so I think it's 375. It's got a inverter and a charge controller, so you can run just about everything other than your microwave. This might even do the microwave, but it won't do the AC, of course, of which you have two, 50 amp camper, two ACs. This roof is an R40 insulation factor, as is your front cap, fully walkable, as you can see. Even your slide outs are walkable. You'll have an 18 year warranty on this roof, right? Um, super well done, really overdone on the sealing, sealant, which is because water is your enemy and just super well done. So let's go downstairs and look at the rest of it. It's just under 12,000 pounds, believe it or not. So there are even some three quarter ton gas that would do just fine with this. This is one of their newer floor plans and it hits all the buttons in my book as far as being High quality, but not too darn big. Ladder to the roof, which I just demonstrated, kind of, sort of. This will hold 300 pounds here on your hitch. Plenty for a bike rack, firewood. Uh, this is wired and braced for a uh, generator, but it would be a propane generator. I'll show you that up front. Two great big awnings. A 3,500 watt generator would run one of your two ACs, which is probably all you need, and something like that could go right on your hitch. I'm kind of more of a fan of that than the propane generators, but that's an individual choice. Remember, we have the RV park here right on site, so you'll be spending the night with us in your new camper, making 100% certain everything works and you know how to work it. Outside shower here, really well marked out controls for winterizing or boondocking. An electric cord roller upper, so we'll take your, your power cord and roll that up for you. One touch leveling, of course, that's natural. Water filtration system, which is super nice. Don't know why I'm lisping, but I'm lisping. Um, so here's your other storage, and it is ready for a propane generator if you ever decided you needed one or wanted one. And then here's the rest of your basement storage. So more than adequate. It has central vacuuming. That's these hoses here. That's where you're going to empty out your dust. And if you wanted to do a satellite, it's wired for that. A lot of people are doing uh, Starlink now instead. But super nice. Let's look inside. Here's your second awning. I'm not able, of course, to put them all the way out, but you kind of get the idea. But the selling point on this is not only the length and the weight, but what they did with this floor plan just screams out to me. It's a short, wide body, flush floor on both sides, fifth wheel. It has more counter space than most of my 40 footers. You have a real oven, big enough to put this Christmas turkey in, four burner range, not three, dishwasher prepped, but we don't do that. It's not that tough to wash a dish. I'm all right, people, but it's ready if you want one. 
more counter space. One day they're going to do soft close doors, which I love, but these open, <laughs> open and close just as well. Solid cabinetry, hidden hinges, all pocket screws, no staples, of course. Great pantry. And I love these drawers. Really makes a good use of space here. Very homelike. Storage everywhere. Island kitchen with more 110 and USB that you can get rid of when you're not using it. All that counter space opposing here that'll have 110 up above each. Here's a lot of your lighting controls. I'll show you those. But you have 110 on each side of these. Bam. And then lighting, they really outdo it. All these switches here, I love. So this one does your counter space. This one does your accent lighting. So around the island and your uh, rear countertop and then up above your chandelier. That's all that accent lighting. So if you just turn that and that on alone at night, this place pops. Here is your overhead recliner lights. There's your overhead table lights. There's your chandelier lights. I really like that they do everything here easy peasy. Basement freezer, Samsung residential refrigerator. The best fireplace on the market. That can be either just ambiance with any type of color you want, or of course, that'll heat this whole darn camper for sure without having to go through your propane. This is the Eastern Zen version, so there's no television. Uh, just read a book, I guess. No, wait, there is. Wait. You can have a window when you want a window, or, voila, you can have a 50-inch smart Roku television. You've got a Rockford Fosgate stereo system. There's your television. So yeah, I just freaking love this. They made the island the perfect size. You have all this walk around room. And then you still have all this counter space. I love this camper. Um, let's go upstairs because The bathroom is nothing to sneeze at. Porcelain toilet, plenty of room to walk around, change clothes, what have you. They bring the same solid surface countertops up to your bathroom for you. Best shower in the industry and certainly the best shower head. And then you still have the wand. There's a teak seat that you can put up or down. No lack of storage for clothes, I mean for towels. And then you'll have double entry either to your bedroom. So your guests can come in this way without seeing your bedroom. You can go into your bedroom from here or from the hallway. This one's equipped with a king bed. You can get a queen that would make it a little bit easier to walk around and make that bed. One downside, it's going to be tough to make that corner of the bed. <clears throat> That's for sure. But you've got the closet slide here with plenty of, more than enough hanging space. And then big drawers for socks. 110 and USB charge ports on each. And then you've got a light switch at that side so you can turn the lights off without having to get out of bed. You'll have storage under the bed. Tons, actually. And then, nice headboard and another smart TV at the foot of your bed. 
and then to top it all off, you'll have a window when you want it. Look at that. So talk about getting enough natural light. So this is one of two I'll send you, Ray. The other one is that 320 MKS ref uh, reflection with a desk in the back. But if you want to go all out, this is it. This is really making me double think my own choice. This would be so comfortable. So give me a call, 406-696-4750. Let me know what you think of this one and then that second video I'm going to send you. Again, really appreciate your time and possible patronage. Buy this one fast, because otherwise I'm going to buy it myself. <laughs> All right, Ray, thanks so much. Let's go camping. 406-696-4750.